This video is about Stirling's approximation. In the further videos of statistical mechanics, we are going to use it. So let us understand it. So first, let us understand why we need to use Stirling's approximation. So the first thing that you need to know is this, that factorials are huge. As an example, take a look at 10 factorial. What do you think will be the value of 10 factorial? Take a guess, like multiplying 1, 2, 3 and so on till 10. What do you think the value of this? And the answer is around 3.6 million. So see this, the value of 10 factorial is this big number. And in statistical mechanics, we have to deal with n factorial. That means 10 raised to the power 23 factorial. So think this number will be really big and any computer on earth can't handle numbers this big. So to deal with these large numbers, we use Stirling's approximation. So now let us derive it. Now we can write n factorial as n multiply by n minus 1, multiply by n minus 2 and so on to 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 1. It will end up in here. Now this number is really big. Now to solve this, what we will do is this. We will take log of n factorial and what it will do is, is that change this multiplication into addition and it will make that number smaller. So let us take log of n factorial. So log of n factorial is equal to log of n plus log of n minus 1 plus log of n minus 2 plus and so on to log of 3 plus log of 2 plus log of 1. Okay. Now in here we can write this thing as this. So summation of x from 1 to n from 1 to n log of x. So first log of 1, then log of 2, then log of 3 and so on to log of n. So we can write it like this. Now when this n is very large, then we can write this summation as integration because when this n is very large, we can take those discrete things as continuous. So we can write this summation thing as integration. So we can write this thing as integration from 1 to n log of x dx. So we can write log of n factorial like this when n is very very large. Okay, now we need to solve this. To solve this we will use integration by part. So think this is multiplied by 1. Okay, now we will use integration by part. This one is the first function and this is the second function. So let us use it. So first function, integration of second function minus whole integration, derivative of first function and integration of second function. So now let us solve this. It is really easy. Now in here we have log of x. So keep it like this. Now integration of 1 is x and the limits are 1 to n. Now minus whole integration 1 to n. Derivative of log x is 1 upon x and integration of 1 is x dx. Now in here this x cancels this one. Now let us put the limits in here. ln of n multiplied by n upper limit minus lower limit ln of 1 multiplied by 1 minus in here integration of 1 is x. So write, write it in here x and the limits are 1 to n. So upper limit n minus lower limit 1. Okay. Now in here we can write it like n ln of n minus log of 1 is 0. So this whole term is 0. So minus of n plus 1. So we have this thing in here. So this whole thing comes out to be n ln of n minus n plus 1. So let us clear it. This comes out to be this thing in here. Now we have reduced this n factorial but this number is really really large. So we can ignore this one like this is already an approximation so we can ignore this one. So ln of n factorial is equal to n ln of n minus n which is the Stirling's approximation. So whenever in statistical mechanics we have this n factorial, we take its logarithm and write it like n ln of n minus n and this solves our that big number problem. In the further derivation, you will see how this thing solves our big problem. So this was the derivation of Stirling's approximation. Now as I promised at the end of every video, I will share something interesting to you. So this is your reward of this 
video. This is a riddle. So let's see, can you answer this? So answer this riddle. What is the largest ant in this world? Remember this is a riddle and the answer is elephant. So this was a fun riddle. So thanks for watching this video. Ask this riddle to your friends and have fun and always remember that math is everything.